Hey the Eccentric Beings, this is Natasha Lund, and welcome back to my podcast. Ooh. I want to thank each and every one of my followers and listeners today, and I also want to give special thanks to um, my new listeners. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for um, your time. So today's topic is going to be about getting out the quicksand. So if you guys don't know, quicksand is like this sand that you see around like very, uh, I would say swampy areas. And it's so tricky because when you get stuck in it, which I've never been caught in quicksand, but you know, when you get, I've seen people get stuck in quicksand on, on TV shows and things like that. And it's funny because when you get in it, it takes you down so quick and then it leaves you stuck and abandoned, right? It's like going on the beach, stepping on some sand, and next thing you know, you're in this area and you're just surrounded by sand and you can't get out and you need help to get out. And so you may be asking, what's so important? What's the significance about quicksand? Well, quicksand is like the struggles and the battles that we go through, Right, it's so easy to get caught up in mishap, and it's so easy to to get caught up in things that bring you down, or get caught up around people who mean you no well, and they'll leave you there in that quicksand. They'll leave you there in that struggle. They'll leave you in your mess, or you know, and they they don't give you a, a solution to get out. They just leave you there. They laugh at you. They mock you, they they ridicule you, and they just put you down because of where they think you're going to be. But I'm here to tell you and I'm here to encourage you that God has not left you to just be in quicksand. God has greater for you. God is going to get you out that quicksand. He's going to get you out that struggle. He's going to get you out the mud and he's going to pull you out. You're not going to be there for so long. Those people that laughed at you, those people that mocked you. They will have their revenge. Leave it to God. They will have their revenge. Don't get caught up in the situation where you're in. You're going to get, you know, bad news reports. You're going to get bad reports, uh, you know, on your jobs. You're going to get bad reports, you know, from anywhere. But don't allow those bad reports to bring your spirit down. Don't allow those people that are worked and controlled by Satan to bring you down. Don't allow their thoughts and their emotions towards you, the hatred, the jealousy, you know, their fears and and their insecurities to rub off on you. I want you to walk with your head held high. I want you to know that there is a way out of that quicksand, you know, and that way is Jesus Christ. That way is through your affirmations. That way is through building and saying your affirmations and building that confidence within you. And God is going to change you from the inside out. He's going to make you a new creation, a new creature. And during those times while you're in that quicksand, those are going to be some of your your lowest and weakest moments. Those are going to be the time where you're going to see the true intent of people. You're going to see what people's intents really are. You're going to really see who is really for you and who was not. Right. And And it's sad because, you know, when you get down and out, it's like you've helped those people, right? You help those, you know, you comfort them. But when it's your time to get out, when it's your time to be helped, those people are nowhere to be found. And it's sad because we live in this society where it's like it's a dog eat dog world. Literally, it's a dog eat dog world. It's like who can step on top of who to get to this to the top? And it shouldn't be like that, but it is. And a lot of this, a lot of the people that are going to leave you in this quicksand is going to be the ones closest to you. It's going to be your family members. It may be your mom. It may be your father. It may be a sister, a brother, aunt, uncle, right? And they may even, you know, deep down inside, there may be some hostility from these people. You know, maybe it's a close friend and it may be deep inside. There's something just inside them that hasn't quite, you know, understand or understand what God is doing for you. They don't understand the purpose that God has for your life. They don't understand the calling that God has for your life. And remember that as eccentric beings, we are here to knock down the kingdom of darkness. We are here to knock down 
the hatred. We are here to knock down the jealousy. We are here to knock down the spirit of fear and the spirit of doubt and the spirit of I can't or I would never do that. No, we're here to say I can do this. I will do this. I will achieve great success. And as I make this podcast, I'm making this podcast for, you know, the generations to come. Now, as you guys know, today is actually Monday, January 9th of 2023. So, yes, we are just kind of two weeks into the new year. But I do this for my listeners and I'm also doing this for my future children, my future grandchildren. And I was telling God, I said, God, you know. I want this to be a generational legacy for my kids, my future kids and my future grandkids that when they get to the point that they listen to this, that they would know that their mom, that their grandma loved them just that much that I was willing and able, willing and able to do everything that I could, that they would have greater success, that they won't have to struggle like I had to struggle. So um, I just get emotional thinking about it because. We all go through low moments in our life. So when you have that low moment, know that God is with you and that um, um, when you listen to this, that mama and grandma loves you and I'm... I want you guys to step into, you know, this success. And I want you guys to know what success is. So when y'all get older, that you would know that, you know, you had a a praying mom and grandma. And she was able to show you guys a better way where you don't have to struggle like I did. You don't have to go through the circumstances that I get, like I did. And so when you, if any of you guys are listening you know, and, you know, make sure that you're doing what God has called for you to do. Um, and do it with all your heart. Put all your heart and soul. As I made these podcasts, I put my heart and soul into talking to you guys and, you know, just giving you an encouraging word when sometimes you may not be feeling encouraged. Like, right? You may not be feeling at your highest moment. So, um, just remember that God loves you and that you can do it. You are, uh, the woman, you will be the woman that God has called for you to be. You will be the man that God has called for you to be. And you will knock down the kingdom of darkness. Each and every one of you guys listening, you will knock down the kingdom of darkness. You may be down for a little bit, but you may not be down for long. And just remember that that quick saying, you may be in it for a while. You may be in the struggle. You may be in the dirt, but you will overcome. All right, you guys. So once again, my name is Natasia Lund, and this is the Eccentric Beings Podcast. And uh, remember, God loves you, and I love you, you, and you too. All right, guys. Catch you in the next um, podcast.